nothing happened. No. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Honestly, really, nothing happened. No, it was no. just. No, no. It was just me being stupid. And uh, <laughs> Lily made a noise. It was funny. <laughs> Look, it's 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 me. It's me, Mario. Mario. <laughs> Do you think that's what Chris Pratt's going to call? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my Chris Pratt uh, impersonation of him doing of, of Mario. Mario. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> and that is the reason why everybody's going to not watch this movie. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyway, do you want to introduce a <clears throat> lovely podcast <laughs> after this disaster opening? <laughs> what Perfect. Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to all the films we judged before, or haven't actually seen, but are going to judge. Ooh. Uh, my name is Katie, and then over there is Lily Kay. Haha! It is me. Okay, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I spent a, I I spent like ten minutes the other day trying to do a cover impression, and it wasn't good. I'm not good at impressions. I can't. I I mean, there are some things I can do, but like. Oh, what can you do? Off the, no, I not really. I can I can kind of mimic accents, but only if I hear them first. It's like, like I can it, it, yeah, not very well. I'm not doing anything before you ask because I can't think of anything right now. But like, if somebody were to try and get you to do like a really specific voice, I probably wouldn't be able to do it unless I heard it a lot first. Mm. I can sometimes vaguely replicate some Irish accents. <laughs> That's not an invitation. It is. Now you said it. <laughs> no, you know, because I, I, like I said, I'd have to be able to hear it. But... I can find something and hear it and do it. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> why did you bring it up? <laughs> because I can't do Kermit. That's why I brought it up. Oh my god, we need chance to do the, his Kermit voice now. <laughs> that was good. I'm Kermit the fo- I can't do it. Um, I can't. I won't even no, try. My friend, that you have to like close the back of your throat so it's like uh, Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> I can. No. I'm, I'm, I can. Um, I mean, frog. No. <laughs> it's, that yours is closer than mine. So, you know, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, I'm not going to ask today what did you watch because we have so mm. much to talk about. Uh, mm. I would just mention one thing that I completely forgot that uh, Raised by Wolves season two was coming out this month. So I should have said it last time. <laughs> My mum, because it came up on our our, um, our sort of calendar of things that are coming out. Yeah. Um, and my mum went, Raised by Wolves, what's that? Is it some kind I can't remember what she said, but it was completely off the mark. It was like, it was, it was like, is that some kind of kids thing? And I went, no, it's a Ridley Scott show. Yeah, it's not, in, it's, it's not, I mean, there are kids in there, but it's not for kids. <laughs> I'm afraid. I, she, I can't remember what she said now, and I'm sorry for quoting you without knowing the specifics, mother. <laughs> We, it was we're way sorry. off the base, and I was like, "No, this is, a, this is one of dad shows." Yeah, uh, it's very good. Uh, the first two episodes are out, so it's it's very good. Yeah. What is it on Amazon? Uh, HBO, HBO Max. But... Well, yeah, I almost said something, but then I I took it back. So. <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> our topic <laughs> is uh, very <laughs> wide uh, for today. I think we're going to start off with the award. Of, uh, uh, <laughs> the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, with two people who don't know how to speak like normal people. <laughs> what, is, what is that? I don't know. I don't I don't. So th- with with that, we we're gonna start with that. <laughs> Not gonna say that word <laughs> today. What are we starting with? Uh, the raises. <laughs> Razzies. Razzies. Right. So Riz- the point. Riz- yes. Shall I overview the episode a little bit? Yeah. Because there's been a bunch in the past. Literally, I think three days. There's been a bunch of uh, award show nominations that have been yeah. announced. Yeah. The Oscars, Baftas, and obviously most importantly, the Razzies. <laughs> the Razzies are here. It's very important. Um. So we're going to go through them and talk about what we think of them, which should be interesting because I haven't seen pretty much 90% of them. Oh God, I keep forgetting I that wa- you're not watching movies properly. I don't, I don't, I, this has been a consistent thing in my life. People go, oh, you like movies? I'm like, I do, but I don't watch many of them. Katie, 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 Katie. But I do know 
other yeah. people's reactions to stuff. So I can talk about that. And then the other flip side, I think if we can get to it, it within the hour, yeah. I think there is a potential that we could overrun and we might not get to this. But also Netflix announced pretty much all of the movies that they're, uh, they're releasing this year. Some yes. of which look very interesting. We might talk about that. That's the plan. So let's get mm. into it. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that <laughs> like button. <laughs> like if this. you're on YouTube, if you're <laughs> listening to us as a podcast, you should, you know, subscribe Still follow like. us on whatever. Uh, I don't if there's some places I just don't like. This is the thing. Oh. Follow us on whatever podcasting platform you like. I understand a lot of people are not on Spotify at the moment. Completely understandable. If you're on Apple Podcasts, that's great. Any of your podcasts, just like follow us. It, it, I believe it helps in some way. I don't actually know how, but like share us with your friends. That's the other thing. We're fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We try to be. Yes. Now, if you excuse me for just one moment, I need to cough. I feel like I've got stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> See, this is this is our podcast. Kate is coughing sometimes. <laughs> I can't say words. <laughs> I, I had a sandwich just before we did this, and I just. <laughs> stuck on your throat <laughs> just you know yeah yeah um so let's let's uh get into all right this. let's dive um, into it so we're yes. really we're starting with the razzies we're, of we're not actually we're not gonna go okay so we're, we're starting, starting with, with the worst shit that apparently came out this year yes which apparently was from what i can tell overwhelmingly Di- the diana the musical? musical yes Yes, it's, it's. I don't even think I'd heard about this. I did hear about this because it, it came Written. out like a week before or two weeks before Spencer came out, and people were like, "Oh my god, it's already on Netflix!" Only to realize that it's it's not the Spencer no. movie. It's it's a it's a musical, and apparently it's it's really really bad. <laughs> so, mm. As this uh, example proves, uh, although I I have a very big problem. Two very big problems with with this season's uh, nominees. Uh, and uh, if you're gonna try and defend Jared Leto's accent in that fucking movie, I'm not. I'm look, not with you on this. I didn't. It's bad. I, I didn't it's hear really his. Bad. I didn't hear his accent <laughs> because I was watching it in Hungarian. So you know, I I can't. Oh, it's, it's awful. It is literally like uh, just a person trying to do the world's worst, he, like Mario he, impression. <laughs> he can't be worse than me. So you know. <laughs> That's my judging point. It's it's pretty bad. And I haven't, to clarify, I haven't seen the movie, but I have heard it's not very good. What, the movie? Mm. I basically heard people being like, it's all over the place and like the performances are pretty decent, but like most of it, for the most part, it's like pretty inconsistent and like the actual murder that is kind of the, the supposedly the central point only happens within the like the last part of the movie and then they just sort of breeze past it. I don't know. It didn't sound like it was a great time. It's not. It's not a bad movie at all. I wouldn't say that. It is way longer than it should be. That's definitely a point to it. Where it's like, mm. uh, but Lady Gaga is fucking, just fucking magnificent. I mean, she's pretty it. great. Yeah, she's, in, like, she's a, everything. Just perfect. It's, it's, she. She you was the highlight. You are not the only one who got annoyed about. And we'll get to this properly in a minute. But you were not the only one who got who was annoyed about uh, the the Oscars. But I, that's not right now. We're talking about the Razzies. Yes, <laughs> yes. But but I will. I, yeah, look, I I said this once. I will say it again. I love Jared Leto. I literally grew up with him. Basically, uh, I've been watching uh, his movies before he was famous. His uh, you know everything, and uh, you know I didn't hear his accent, so I can't judge him on that. <laughs> But I did like him, so I was like, I don't care. Uh, he, I, yeah, he gives me bad vibes. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Uh, watch his documentary, uh, Great Wide Open. And then, you know, I think it, it's a much more accurate uh, representation yeah, the, of I'm who he is. I'm not going to lie. The, the whole, I was, he's sending used condoms to his, like, fellow <laughs> Okay, that, that was, yeah, 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 obviously. That's kind of like, just straight, he's, he's, a, he's a weird guy. He is a weird guy. But he, he always wants, you know, <laughs> it, it's still unbelievable. I can't talk today or ever for that matter but uh you know it's you slow it down uh, slow it down mm-hmm. um and enunciate <laughs> enunciate oh i hate it when my uh uh speech speech teacher speech uh is always like just slow down you, you talk too fast and then she was talking as fast as i was so i was like what the fuck i have also <laughs> been told that i talk too fast we're in we're in similar company here oh, i think God. For me, honestly, it comes from 
a, a childhood filled with watching Gilmore Girls. Fair, that's fair. I'm, I'm... And Warner Brothers, because they both, both John and Hank, used to talk at like a million miles per hour in their videos. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, where was I? Where was I? So yeah. Well, I'm... we can go back to the yeah. Yeah, we can go back. Uh, I I will however say that uh, it's completely stupid to nominate fucking Ben Affleck uh, for the last duel, which I think he was a great. Uh, he was he was great at it. I I didn't mind him at all. So I just... I didn't. I heard that that movie was pretty decent. Was it, was a, it, was a, I, it was a very I, decent I movie. I got yeah. annoyed at the hearing Ridley Scott basically saying millennials only go to the cinema to be on I their know. phones. Uh, yeah, or something yeah. along those stupid fucking lines. Every time he opens his mouth, I don't like him even more. Yeah, um, you know I hate him, so just like, oh, shut up, Ridley. Yeah, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, but I, I had him. Like, I had the movie was actually pretty good. It, like, that it, was, it's uh, pretty decent. Yeah, it is. So I don't know. Um, and it's it's so out, out, outrageous that they nominated Better Flag because he he wasn't bad at it at all. But like, we have to remember that this the Razzies are like really not anything it's it's a joke more than anything obviously yes <laughs> but uh still it's just like you know like come on i can understand uh when you nominate people like i don't know bruce willis or or whoever or mel who, gibson apparently oh, who's oh, in uh, oh yeah yeah, yeah, can yeah we, again can we stop giving mel gibson work <laughs> i don't think it's gonna happen unless he does something i know like but it's him. really annoying <laughs> Oh well, uh, but uh, yeah, I I think what surprised me uh, is that Bam Platt is nominated for. I'm not from the, what I heard about that movie. It was I really haven't bad. seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen it, so I can't talk. <laughs> I have him. heard nothing about really bad things in that movie, and I hear it's because they just didn't like. I I reckon it probably could have been good. Yeah, but like. Because I've listened to the musical quite a lot, and he's an incredible singer, is Ben mm. Platt, and I believe he was amazing in the show. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, what I was surprised. He's because... too old to be yeah. playing it now. I mm. think that was a big part of the trouble. And I also, like, um, uh, I think, form sentences, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, the, the, it, I haven't seen the show. I would like to. But it felt, it seems like the show, at least the movie really didn't, it, it, something that it could have done, the show, I believe, didn't really do, is, like, give a moral to it. Because I don't know if you know the story of the musical. No. So essentially, he, um, Evan Hansen, um, uh, comes into school one day with a with a broken wrist because he has fallen out of a tree, um, and the only person who signs it is, is a boy called Connor. Mm -hmm. And then Connor, um, you put a little trigger warning up here for some sensitive stuff. Uh, Connor kills himself mm -hmm. um, not long after this, and afterwards he. Um, I can't remember the specifics of but like one of his family members finds a letter that Evan wrote to himself as a part of his like social anxiety thing. Like this is going to be, it's going to be a good day because of X, Y, and Z and thought that it was that the Connor had written it to him and thought that he was Connor's friend. So he basically lies and said that they were best friends mm -hmm. and like tries and basically ingratiates himself into their family. And it's kind of, it's like the first time he really feels like he has like a, a support network and, but it's all based on this lie that he knew this kid who, who, killed himself um and then he gets found out by the end of it and it's like but there isn't really a there, there's not really a whole lot of like um consequence to the mm -hmm. fact that he basically lies to this grieving family for months and yeah. like really goes in for it as well not in like a malicious way but like there's there isn't really any kind of like there's no resolution to it as such. It just like he gets found out and then everything's fine again afterwards. Um, as far as I can tell. And that it's sounds a bit awful. like <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. That is the thing. There's a lot of people who said exactly the same thing. And I think the movie had the opportunity to kind of adjust things where it could have like really home hammered home like this. Cause it the the movie really the musical does play a lot on like, hey, there are people that you can talk to about this sort of things and you're not alone. Like I, I still can't listen to to. Um, there's a song called "Disappear" and there's another one called um, "Oh God," is it called "You Are Not Alone"? I don't think that's not right. Hmm. It, there's a song right after "Disappear" that I also can't because they just make me cry. They are genuinely very beautiful and moving. Yeah. Um. Uh. But it's like it. It doesn't really. Yeah, it doesn't go into the stuff it should be going into, is the thing. 
Um, and yeah, he's too old. They took out a bunch of the songs in the musical, which I think were a mistake. Mm. Um, a couple of them weren't, but like a couple of them really were. And then the, to to tie all this in, the main like the 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 main song for him at the beginning of the musical is called "Waving Through the Window," and the so- the lyric goes, "On the outside, always looking in." At which point they cut to a shot of him on the inside, <laughs> looking out <laughs> with one job. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, they the fog that up even. I, I heard the movie was very bad. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it. I was thinking about watching it because obviously I missed uh, uh, missed it in, in, in the theatres when I was in London. Uh, so, you know, but um, yeah, that kind of sounds awful. But uh, I love this. Uh, I love the nominations here. Uh, where is it? Uh, ben Platt. And any other uh, any other character who acts like Platt singing twenty four seven is normal, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that's just fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, oh, what, what was that under? Hmm. What was what was what was where was that in here? Uh, it's it's the first screen couple. <laughs> Incredible. It's it's inc- I love it. I mean, come on, Jared Leto and either his seventeen pound latex face, his oh, yeah, clothes, yeah. or his ridiculous accent, <laughs> right there. It is there. It is there. Um, but yeah, I'm. I I will say that I am mostly not surprised by these nominations. To be honest, I did Paul watch LeBron James. Hmm? <laughs> it's a Paul LeBron James. No, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I love that uh, Bruce Willis has his own category for all it's of his eight movies funny. that he he did. He's nominated. Is it, is it, I feel like I maybe you told me or somebody mentioned to me that like Bruce Willis has basically been like intentionally doing bad movies because he just can. Yeah, he's just like fuck it, I don't care. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but, but, I mean, and good you for know, him, really. Why Honestly, not? Good for him. Why not? <laughs> if he's getting paid and he's having a good time. Why exactly. not? Exactly. Why the hell not? Uh, if he enjoys it, then. That's all that matters, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, you know, who cares? Uh, but it, yeah, it, never, it is unendingly funny to me. That, that oh, it's Scott Eastwood. I read it. Clint Eastwood, but like, still, I thought it was. You know what? That it, I was going to say. Oh, it's really funny to me that Clint Eastwood keeps getting re- like really bad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> sort yeah. Of like, but like Scott Eastwood, um, who I think is his son. His son, yeah, presumably yeah, yeah. <laughs> his son, yeah. yeah. And what's he's... Karen? Oh, Karen is is just awful. You haven't seen the trailer. No, I only I've only seen the trailer. It's basically about Karen, uh, who has uh, new ha- neighbors who are black, and uh, she starts uh, plotting against them and d- doing awful I stuff. I think I may I may have seen this. Yeah, yeah. Oh and God. Yes, it's it's oh God, it's it's horrible. Even the trailer Christ. was horrible. It's just wrong on so I many. I do, I do actually, I do remember this being talked about, but I, I feel, I, oh my god, yeah, it's, it's Ooh. dead, it's, it's dead. The only other one here that I want to, I want to point out is Infinite because I think that's the one that had Dylan O'Brien. O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had, he had swords. Yeah, that's the one. No, I don't think that movie was it. like you know bad. Uh, it was whatever to be honest like it it's pretty forgettable i'm not gonna say it's not but did you uh, watch it i did yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah but um all i don't think it's, it's this bad to be here actually but um oh well it's actually nominated for mark Wahlberg. as <laughs> the as yeah, i think I know, the bird. Really funny. <laughs> yeah so i was like okay uh amy adams is having a bad year uh after always being nominated for oscars now she's nominated <laughs> as worst actress and uh worst supporting actress <laughs> And uh, I'm not gonna lie, the woman in the window was pretty fucking bad, so I'm not surprised that it's here. Um, it's really annoying to me that the woman in the window is so close to the name of that new Netflix show. It's like the oh, woman uh, across the street, and, and I'm like, for God's sake, how am I meant to keep these things? They're so similar. <laughs> that's that's the point. In that <laughs> Which series. is the point, but yeah. it's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's that's. Uh, I think uh, we we talked. In, I, I think we can kind of. Smash together BAFTAs and and Oscars, uh, because it's it's kind of similar. There are a few. Well, yeah, let's. We should talk about some of the the, the big differences. Yes. Um, between them, um, Which... so BAFTAs obviously came out first. Yes. I I can um... I can I start with my biggest disappointment. Sure, go. Uh, how dare the Oscars not nominate Lady Gaga for House of Gucci? I Ritchie? thought. I'm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, like, come on! I I literally freaked no. out. I was like. No. 
I think that was like the first thing I saw when I went on Twitter was I can't believe they didn't nominate um, Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the first thing I wrote you as well. Like I can't yes. believe. I can't so I I saw somebody on Twitter and not very like literally within minutes I saw you being like I can't believe they did this. Like she's she was so good in that movie. Like honestly, she would have deserved at least a nomination. I'm not gonna say that she should win it, but uh, she should have been nominated. And uh, I think it's it's. Pfft. It's just a joke that that she's not nominated. And uh, also, I will point out that uh, 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 Ruth Nagel and uh, Tessa Thompson completely are also passed over. just completely. Pa- I mean, they've got a couple of. There's a couple. There's a few a couple of mentions. She was uh, Ruth Nagel was uh, best supporting actress in, in Baftas in the Baftas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Tessa and Thompson Tessa was also Thompson. nominated. Yeah, yeah. Was um, leading actress. So they, yeah. they got there's some there's some love at the Baftas, but the Oscars absolutely it's no just mention. Like, beep, Absolutely it, none, which is insane. I I know I that that was the other thing that that really infuriated me. Uh, also, this just reminded me uh, of both of the nominations list that uh, I really I really want to watch Drive My Car because it it sounds very good. That's the Jap- I... uh, Japanese entry. Oh, uh, is this the one about the guy who? Um, uh, oh, the, the, it's it's she's the um, chauffeur. Yeah. I think I saw the trailer for this a little while ago. I can't remember why I saw the trailer for this, but I did see the trailer for this and thought that it looked really interesting. Mm. It it does, and and you know it's it's getting nominations after nominations. So I know I saw it. It was in the Cinefix Best of Twenty Twenty One list. They oh, mentioned there you go. it, there you uh, go. and they said it was they said it was really good, and it's gone five stars from from Peter Bradshaw at the at the Guardian apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I it's... just I cl- I clicked on it. Curious. <laughs> It's getting high praises, so I'm like, mm. I'm very interested in it. Yeah, uh, that one does sound really good. Um, hmm? I would like to see. Yeah. Mm. Uh, very nice to see that it's also been nominated. It, it, that um, uh, the director was nominated for best director. Indeed. Uh, at the BAFTAs. And um, uh, I, I think. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing that they didn't nominate him on the Oscars, I believe. That doesn't surprise me too much because like the oh, best no, 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 director. No, they, oh, no, they did. They, they, they did. did. They did. There sorry, that's sorry. It. It's the other way around. It's the yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it, I was gonna say it's not very often. It's like I think it. it sorry, I just saw a headline. It didn't make any sense. Um. Uh. It usually ends up being that uh, films not in the English language um don't get a shoe in to like best picture and stuff because they just think oh we've we've like we've covered that in the in the in the international film um Not category anymore. and it's like no and it shouldn't be either if the movie's good it should be nominated for best picture like as we all know Parasite. yeah exactly so, so, good. It's so good i didn't realize that the best picture category at the oscars was so big it's always 10 movies there are a lot of movies yeah 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 yeah. they changed it up like uh, around early 2000 <laughs> 10 ish yeah, uh, so instead of five now there's always like 10 nominations for yeah that's, that's know, quite a picture uh yeah i i, <laughs> I, t- I said this to louis because he went he saw licorice pizza um uh in the cinema when mm. it came out and i went that movie's oscar bait and he goes what are you talking about I'm like, that movie is oscar bait <laughs> it's there it is there it is i'm not saying it's it's like it, it I'm, I'm not saying it's bad i haven't seen it i've heard it's it's, it's a lovely movie yeah and all this sort of stuff i just know the time it came out the fact that it's a paul thomas anderson movie i was like this movie's gonna get an nominated for an oscar yeah it was pretty obvious to be honest <laughs> i'm not even surprised it's been positioned very specifically yes you know uh i will say that i am incredibly happy that don't look up is there because it should be there. Uh, I'm a bit annoyed when it comes to the BAFTAs that Leonardo DiCaprio has been nominated instead of Andrew Garfield for Tick, Tick, Boom. I don't think he should be in there. I think if, Have if, you I seen think Andrew... Leonardo DiCaprio in Don't Look Up? No, but I have seen Andrew Garfield on Tick, Tick, Boom. Then uh, only, only talk about it after you've seen Leonardo DiCaprio in Don't Look Up. Don't get but me I'm wrong. I'm not the only one. Multiple people agree with me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love Andrew, and I think he was much better, like, you know, and he should be nominated, but uh, at the same time, DiCaprio was great, as always, so, you know. But, I'm... like, I just, I just feel like, I'm sure he was great, I'm not saying that, like, I almost saying he, he, he doesn't need another Oscar, he got one, he got his damn Oscar. I mean, he's not gonna get an Oscar, because he's not nominated for an Oscar, and Andrew is. That's true, So that's true, all right. 
<laughs> I got confused. We're looking at two different award nomination things. I know. It doesn't matter. Andrew is nominated got, for I an think Oscar. he's already won. Yeah, it's true. But like, he should have been. Should have, I just, he should have been. There were like, okay, actually, we're getting, I, I, there was not enough. There's not enough love for Tick, Tick, Boom on any of these lists. No. Neither of them. There should no. have been more. And yeah. it's, it is, I, I, the more I have, I've seen it twice and I've listened to Star Trek a lot. Yeah. Um, I really do think that this movie has something very special to it. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they, it's been basically completely ignored for the most part. Um, it, the only thing it, it has a uh, um, uh, look in for is, is Andrew Garfield being nominated for the um, leading actor, yeah. which yeah. as he should. As but he like, should be, yeah. Oh my God, it should, it, it's something else. It's something else should have been, I, I don't know. It, I, it should have had some more love somewhere. Because I, I just it, like I don't even think it's a perfect movie or anything like that. I just think it's so wonderful in mm-hmm. so many different ways. And I just I, it makes me so mad. Yeah, there's not more love. Yeah, I know it's it's really annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, mm-hmm. uh, even, even though it was hard to uh, watch it in a you know as an actor point of view, <laughs> I recognized. Way too many things in there <laughs> that made my heart ache, and I was like, <laughs> "Why are you doing this?" But to it was me? so good. It's but it's so good. It's such a good. I'm movie. a little. I'm just sorry. I I, can, I, I kind of skimmed through this earlier. Yes. I just realized that Javier Bardem has been uh, nominated no, for being the Ricardos. Me. Yep. I didn't hear that much about being the Ricardos. I love. We all know that I love Aaron, Aaron Sorkin stuff, and I haven't watched it yet. Aaron Sorkin but... is also nominated for the best uh, original screenplay for. That doesn't the surprise me at all because yeah. he's. Um, but I, I, I hadn't heard like anything, um, like to do with like sort of the reaction to being the Ricardos. I heard maybe there's like the vaguest things of people being like, I guess it's good, um, but that was kind of it. There was like no real push to it. Yeah, yeah. I know. But, um, Same. So but... that kind of surprises me. I'm not against it because I think Javier Bardem is oh, great. Javier is great. Um, I. It's nice to see. The, lead, the best actor to be uh, category to be not all white, but that being said, this is still a fairly white leaning set of, um, you know, nominees. There's, uh, the, the, I mean, it, it's not as bad as it has been in previous years, but it's still not great. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I will say that, uh, uh, I will say predictions and then we can talk about that a little bit. Uh, okay, that's a good idea. Uh, so I think if if we look at the Oscars, uh, I'm gonna yeah. only look at the big categories. Uh, yeah. Uh, leading actor, I think that Will Smith should win for King Richard, and I don't think he will win for King Richard. Uh, so that was when you want to win. Yes. So I want. I I, I I I really. I've heard really good things about King oh, Richard. It's. And he's 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 really really brilliant in it. Like I really really liked his performance. I think I have this. I don't think Andrew will win. Unfortunately, it would be. I don't the... think so either. I would. I think that that's my. That I would really yeah. like for him just I'm, so that same. he can get some some love. And, and, um, and I because I do think he's fucking phenomenal in it. He is. He um, is. Uh, but I will say it one more time that he should have won an Oscar for Hulk Storage, and I will never shut up about that fact that like you know. Honestly, I think um, I can't remember if if it happens that if, if actually I'm gonna I was about to say a thing and I actually don't have any information to talk about <laughs> the year that the Social Network didn't win at the Oscars. Yes, when it definitely fucking should have. Yeah, I did. He get was he nominated? Because like I don't think he was. I feel like he. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure, so I don't have info on then. But I don't think he was. He was definitely nominated for Hawk's Origin, and, and he should have won for then. I, it's just fact. He was fucking awesome as Desmond. Very good. Um, so who do you think is is going to win? Then? I I am. I'm not gonna lie. I'm leaning either towards uh, Denzel or Benedict. Yeah, I've heard like, I've heard the power of the dog is incredible. Mm-hmm. Um. It's very nice to see Jane Champion get a a, a, a what's that called a best director best, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. nod, which is yeah. nice um, because I think that you know as we have has been seen so many times we've had two women win yeah. the best director uh, in the entire course of the um, yeah 
<sighs> yeah, it doesn't get me fired up at all. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of really great movies that came out last year. Mm. I think maybe. You know. So what do you, what do you think? Who, who who's going to win, leading actor? Um, oh, leading actor. I am. I'm. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards Denzel to be honest. Because yeah, from what I've heard about the tragedy of Macbeth, it's like magical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what 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 Joel Cohen has managed to like pull yeah. off uh, with that film, and it's Denzel. <laughs> oh, that's uh, by the way, that's the other thing. Uh, I am missing Peter Dinklage from here, uh, for Cyrano. I, uh, I think yeah. I think he was great. You know, and... I'm sure he was. I, I mean, I mean, he's incredible. He's always incredible. He um, I do, I do think he is. I just don't. I don't know if that movie. I don't. It There's had also, some love. I, I, and, it had you know. a bit of love, but yeah. I don't know if it. I also don't know if it came out at the right time. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, it wasn't. It, it only came out very recently. No. No. But that being said, Jessica Chastain has been nominated for the Isaac Temi Faye and that. Definitely hasn't come out here yet. No, it didn't hear either. I but yeah, I'm leaning towards. I, 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 yeah, I'm leaning towards Denzel in that category. Yeah, I think. I um, don't think Javier Bardem's gonna get it. No, no, I don't think so either. Uh, uh, leading Best actress? actress. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think. I would say that I would like to see Penelope Cruz win. Uh, because uh, she's... I reckon Kristen Stewart's going to take that one. Yeah, yeah, that's that was my next sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I I think uh, the fact that she's here and and uh, you know she's been praised. Uh... I'm so happy for her, honestly. Just like because I mean, I mean, we all know after Twilight came out, it was like, oh, Kristen Stewart can't act, and she has basically done so much, like really, like basically the same as not the same but like in a similar way to the way that Robin Pattinson's been doing a lot of mm. really interesting stuff she's also been doing a lot of really interesting stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think she's become be even better as the years have gone on especially yeah. um now I think that she's in I, I think she's she's one of those people who has managed to you know really come into herself now that she's I think living a little bit more honestly as well because she's engaged to this lovely woman yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's that must be I, I think it's really freed her to be able to do a lot of really interesting stuff. Oh, yeah, Not definitely. that I think that that's a necessity for everybody, because there's no absolute, absolutely no obligation for anybody to come out ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just my thing to say. I have to agree. Yeah. Uh, um, but I will point out that the, the best um, actress category at the Oscars is way whiter oh, than the... Um, than the BAFTAs, yeah. Yeah, the BAFTAs. The BAFTAs have got... Um, We've got obviously Tessa Thompson in there. Yeah. Um, and well, it might just be Tessa Thompson. There yeah. are a couple of names in here I don't recognize, so I can't really speak to. Yeah. But it, yeah. I think the best actress category in at the BAFTAs is is really a little bit more interesting in it, terms of like the scope of, of who's in there. Lady Gaga is in there, so yeah. Lady Gaga is in there, but I'm thinking about Amelia Jones for Coda, which is a movie I haven't gotten around to watching, but I did see a lot of like they were oh, pushing that a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when when Ted Lasso was out, it was it was one of those ones that were kept coming up as like the ad before the episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And I've heard really really good things about the the worst person in the world. Oh yeah, I'd it's, really it's like to see movie. that. It's a great movie. Uh, but yeah, I I I, I have to. Be, I think uh, Kristen Stewart will win, even though I yeah. I would love for Penelope uh, to win because uh, she was really really good in Parallel Mothers. Uh, Mothers um, directing. Uh, I think that Jane is going to take it. Uh, I think they're going to give it to her. Uh, I disagree. I think, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if Kenneth Branagh takes it. Not hmm. based on actually how good Belfast is, but just based on the fact that it's it's Kenneth Branagh. And I, I, ha I you know what the Oscars are like. <laughs> Maybe. But I, I, Maybe I'm being a bit cynical about it, but I, I do have I a think... feeling that out of that, those the like, directors, I have a feeling because Ken Branagh also made like a really personal film. Yes, um, I believe I, I'm, I know, I know that um, the power of the dog is incredible, but you know what they they're like when it comes to not like picking the winners when it comes at the Oscars. They don't, they're not necessarily going to pick the one that you actually think is best. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... 
but yeah, I I think I think that they're gonna give it to Jin. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, uh, but I will say <laughs> that uh, I and I I've seen both of the movies. So I I watched The Power of the Dog and I I watched Breakfast and and I think that Kenneth Branagh should win it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. Yeah. I just I. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> it's a. Uh, I think that movie just speaks louder than the power of the dog like it's it's just there's much more to it for me uh both in directing and what the story is behind it um so yeah i i think he should but i don't i i don't think he will uh i i i disagree with you i think that they're gonna give it to jen mm. we'll yeah see. i don't know i'm just i feel a little bit cynical about the best writer the, you know especially these big 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 categories i just feel they tend to a lot of i think the academy votes based on who they know and like as opposed to what movies they've actually seen and therefore like i think one of the only people i feel like actually does the effort to watch everything is edgar oh yeah yeah, yeah. because <laughs> he's just there he posts on twitter it's like i have seen everything yes <laughs> true 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 uh movies there's 10 yes uh, so the best picture category. Uh, uh, nominees uh uh, this no, one is a hard, hard one. It is hard. There are a couple that I think I can kind of. I was surprised. I'm, I'm going to say that I, I think it's a very good movie. But I was surprised when they said Nightmare Alley. I was like, oh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm quite pleased that it's gotten some love. Yes. Because I mean, I you like, and I oh. both watched it in, yeah. in the past week and both really enjoyed it. It's very good. Um, I would think I might have to watch it again to be able to kind of appreciate it. It's an entirety because yeah. I went into it kind of. There were a couple of things that happened in the movie that made me expect it to go in one direction and it didn't, yeah. which disappointed me a little bit. I expressed the sentiment to you. There's a great scene that is basically like a proper little chess battle between um, Bradley Cooper and Thank Kate Blanchett in it yeah, yeah. that I thought was electric. And then I kind of wanted the movie to be more of that. And then it, it really went in a different way. And I, I was a bit disappointed that we didn't get more mm. sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. And sort of battles like that. Um, throughout it but there are some really good the, the ending of the movie is brilliant Very the good. whole sort of like last 20 minutes i want to say yeah uh, it was very good nice to see the dune has been nominated yes um but i don't, I don't think, think it's gonna, gonna win, win. <laughs> no i don't think it's no. gonna win i don't think don't look up is gonna win either which one um don't look up i don't think so either no no um I will go on a swing and say that I think that it's it's gonna happen again, like it happened with Parasite, since it's getting so big, 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 such big praises. I think that Drive mm -hmm. My Car is gonna take home the best picture. I haven't seen it. It would be interesting, especially in the next month or so, because I haven't seen a whole lot of reaction to it so far. Yeah. Parasite went huge, like really huge. Yeah. In a way that um, it was kind of like, if this doesn't win, it's insane. Yeah. Um, I think if, if Drive My Car won it, I, that would be incredible. I yeah, think yeah, that yeah, would yeah. probably, um, I, I would be all for that. I think if the if they vote in the way that kind of makes me think that they might do, King Richard might be kind of, might slide in there, to be honest. It, it might. The best, be, best picture can be really odd in that you think it's going to go one way. Yeah, um, with whoever they 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 think go for best director, and then they go for, in a really different. I mean, look at the year that fucking Green Book won. Over. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everybody went, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I King Richard seems is it, it kind of has that vibe to me that it might come out as kind of the underdog one. Maybe, maybe. But if not that, I don't know. Coda, maybe honestly. Coda. Uh... Also. I'm thinking this specifically the year that I, comes to mind is the year that Spotlight won, and it was kind of like, oh, this is that's kind of surprising, it, like because it, it didn't really seem like it was going to, based off of like again best cinematography and whoever won best director, and it mm. kind of came out and surprised everybody as 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 the best picture winner. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I think based on what I've seen from this list, I've I've seen many of the movies. Uh, I think Belfast should win. It's not. I don't think it's going to win. Uh, I I am guessing either for drive my car and and maybe King Richard. I think it's gonna it's it's gonna be one of them. Yeah. Uh, 
we can see. Uh, I know that I am happy to see uh, one one last thing. I I, I definitely want to highlight is that uh, obviously Encanto is is in the best uh, animated feature uh, category, but uh, Raya and the Last Dragon hasn't been nominated for the BAFTAs, and it is nominated for uh, for the Oscars, which is a uh, no, surprising that both of them are doing that. To be honest, yeah, I was very surprised when I read the list. I was like, wait, what? Uh, Where? Oh, I just realized that TikTok Boom got nominated for best film editing, so actually it has got a couple. In there, so that yeah. that would be nice. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, the it is beautifully edited movie. To be fair, it is. It is. It's um, it definitely. What was I looking for? I was looking for best song because the songs song, were yes. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very surprised of all the songs to be nominated for best original song from Encanto. Dos Orejitas. Orejitas. Yeah, sorry, I, I, my Spanish still isn't very good. I've been doing it for the two years. It's not great. Orejitas. <laughs> That was not the one I was expecting to no. be nominated. No. But I'm not against it because it's a really good song. It is It is a good song. A beautiful but... song. But yeah, I was surprised. I was like, what? Oh, like, no I mean, it's, 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 the, it's the main song. So I, I guess, you know, uh, I think it's going to win. Uh, I, I think hope... if that wins, that makes, I think that makes Lynn of Egot. Yeah. I think I'm just I'm just saying that I think that, that if if he if he gets that that means that he would be he would officially have an ego. Yeah. There's a lot of talk of him getting an ego because I think he has he has he has a Tony. He has yeah. yeah. He has a Grammy. Yep. Yeah. He has an Emmy. Yes. Oh. So, I think he has an Emmy anyway. I think so too. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that would be awesome. I think. It's unfortunate it's not going to win. I think then No Time to Die is going to win from Billie Eilish, which is also great. That wouldn't so. surprise me. It's, it's a good song. It's a good. It was song. a good. It was a good. It was a good Bond theme. It, it is. Did, it yeah. Did the yeah. 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 So yeah, we shall see. It's. Uh, we shall. We shall it's it's going to happen soon. Uh, but let's jump on uh, to Netflix and their big announcement video uh, of their 2022 uh, lineup of movies. I have the full Do you want to here. just have a quick chat about what we yeah. think is going to win best outstanding British film? Oh. Because there's a lot of really, because I will point out that Cyrano is, is on that list. It is on that um, list, yeah. As is Passing, which I reckon will probably take that. Um, I think so. I've heard really good things about Boiling Point as well, though. Um, the Stephen uh... Graham movie, just fun. I've heard good things about that. I don't think he's going to take it, but I have heard good things about it. I think Passing is going to take it. Either that but or it's also because quite... it's it's there. <laughs> I also I don't think it's going to take it, but it's nice to see Last Night in Soho nomination. Oh just yeah, yeah, it's it's there. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think passing. That's. I just it's very interesting to see how the way how different the BAFTA um, the Academy sort of no uh, you know picks its it picks its films mm. compared to the Oscars. Yeah. There, there are some there are some pretty big deviations between these two things. Like Mahershala Ali's been nominated for Best Actor and mm. um Yeah, over here. As is Will Smith. Yeah. Yeah. I really it's wish Will Smith interesting. I um I, it makes me very happy also. Just the final thing, it makes me very happy to see um Jesse Buckley getting so much love. Just as like from like oh, yeah, a childhood yeah, yeah. me, because um, yeah. I was I was she was she was my, she was uh, she was my Nancy from from like way back in the day. I really wanted her to win. Um, I'd do anything, and it's just I she's been doing so well recently, and that makes mm. me very happy. <laughs> I I will uh, highlight one more person as well. Then uh, Jesse Plemons is nominated for the Power of the Dog. Uh, in the supporting actor category and I think he's great in everything he does I really like his work so maybe he's getting some love this time around Jesse Plemons is pretty amazing it is annoying that I look at him and I go you tortured Jesse yeah <laughs> yeah oh, well. I mean but like he's, he's brilliant he's he is, brilliant. He is brilliant he's brilliant we love Jesse Plemons uh, so Netflix, 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 Netflix. Uh, yes, you have the list here. I, I, I don't. A, I have the list. Uh, yes. Uh, what is this uh, Russian accent? Um, I don't know. It's kind <laughs> of the one I keep going to as well because I just. <laughs> um, all right. Um, we have the mother uh, with Jennifer Lopez. Uh, the Adam Project. So, 
hang on a second. Just yes. to clarify for people who don't know, we'll put a link in the description, I'm sure. Um, this is a list. Uh, this is a little video that, that Netflix put out the other, like a couple of days ago of it basically what they did last year where they said we're doing there's one original movie, new original movie every year, every week, every week. this year. Yes. Um, so these are it was it was a fun little video. I was I if we can talk about the the way that the video is put together real quick. Um, did they take out the time whilst they were shooting these movies to do like, hey, we need to do a shot for the Netflix promo? Probably because it's like they're all so like, yeah, they're all clearly on set. Yeah, and it's like, I think it's did in their deal. Up, did Netflix? I guess Netflix came around and were like, we need you to do like, we've got an idea. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we need you to do this like one bit. It's like. Yeah. It was just really odd it was, and kind of surprising to me the way that they kind of weaved it all in because last year they literally just showed all the movies. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then this time it was like, we've got a bunch of people talking to the camera. It was a bit like, okay. <laughs> Which, uh, Most they, of these movies aren't going to have that. It's, uh, they, they, they made, yeah, they made a great joke about that. I really enjoyed that. Uh, where uh, It was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, Millie Bobby Brown said that I, I think that was my thing. Well, this but, is my thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and she's right it is uh, but let's go through the list I will uh, read them out mentioned uh, who's going to be in it and then we can highlight stuff we want to talk about quickly uh, so the mother uh, that's going to be starring Jennifer Lopez and I, if I if I saw it right on IMDB it's also going to have uh, Gal Garcia Bernal in it um, and then uh, something I mentioned as my most anticipated uh, for next year is the Adam Project, which is coming out in March, and it stars Ryan Reynolds, Zoe Saldana, and Mark Ruffalo. Uh, Very fun. It's mm, I I just loved what they showed, so I was like ah. Uh, and it's also uh, directed by Sean Levy, who directed Free Guy, uh, which I think was incredibly which was good. Perfectly fun movie. It's so good. Uh, Day shift. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they sh- I wouldn't go that far, but it was enjoyable. It was. I I really love that movie. I think it's just so sweet and and fun. So I was like, you know, I'm happy yeah, if fun. they if they work together. I just love it. Let's let's do it. Uh, Day shift. That's gonna star Jamie Fox. Um, the Gray Man, which is very interesting for me because it has my dearest Chris Evans in it, and obviously Ryan Gosling as well. Yeah, that one looks really fun. I like Ryan Gosling a lot. So yeah. that um, uh, yeah. It, it depended. I don't know if it's going to be funny, but I just really think that Ryan Gosling should do more funny movies. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 it, funny. It is directed by the Rus- Russo brothers. Uh, so Right, yes, this is a new Russo brothers thing. That's yes. Right. Yes. I will say that what I find interesting with them is that, uh, you know, they did these amazing Marvel movies and they are really good. Like Winter Soldier is one of the best <laughs> that Marvel has to offer, uh, for example. And then... Uh, all of their other projects are a little bit like, eh, it's just a bit... They did do a very good job of directing on Community back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 100%. But uh, yeah, it's it's interesting to see because I, I see the ideas behind it and, and I get what they are trying yeah. to do a lot of time, but it's like... I heard Cherry wasn't great. Nah. No. No, it wasn't. It really was, and sorry, Tom. Uh, Spiderhead, which is going to be a new Chris Hemsworth movie, and we only got like a s- small little yeah. glimpse into it, yeah, that one. just a tiny bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Slumberland, uh, which will have a very funny looking Jason Momoa, <laughs> uh, and it it looks like what's that a movie fairy- about? I I I feel like it's some kind of fairy tale journey, uh, or at least that's what it looks like from that little snippets that we got because we saw. <laughs> You're suddenly very bright. Uh, I, I, I've opened a new tab to see what this is about. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has Jason Momoa's some kind of, like, I don't want to say something stupid, uh, but... Uh, he looks like, like he's a... got big horns. Yes. <laughs> it looks like... Premise. A young girl discovers a secret map to a dream world of slumberland, and with the help of an eccentric outlaw, she traverses through dreams and flees nightmares with the hope that she will fe- see her late father again. Oh, God, this is going to make me cry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can tell already. It's, it's be- based on a comic book series titled Little Nemo in Slumberland. Oh, interesting. You know, that sounds interesting. I like the costume oh, that Jason was wearing, so I was like, yeah, I probably gonna watch it <laughs> he's got like a fawn look to him he's got you know horns and the round oh, yeah that's what that. i wanted to say it's like like kind of a i don't know if it's actually a fawn but like yeah, it looks 
It resembles. It resembles. Um, we saw a glimpse of Falling for Christmas, and uh, that's going to star Lindsay Lohan. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um. I, was, I was a bit surprised. I was a bit surprised, but uh, if, if she's doing uh, better, that that's very good. It's very good. Like we're glad, we're glad to see it. Uh, that or Pinocchio got a little glimpse uh, mm -hmm. in this trailer. Uh, Boo, uh, which is I am guessing it's going to be another movie from the Guayans brothers. Um, and then there was Boo. A, Boo. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a very interesting one uh, called They Cloned Tyrone. And that's going to star John Boyega, Jamie Foxx, and Tina Paris. Looks, I don't know what that one's about, no. but I just, like, I saw, like, one thing and I went, yeah. that looks interesting, I'm yeah. into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was the same, I was like, mm-hmm, okay. Uh, there was a movie in it that I couldn't find anything about. It's called Carter. And, um, yeah, not even I DB brought it up, so I was like, okay, I don't know what this movie is. It might have a different working title, or I don't know, but it, it didn't pop up. Um... So I don't, I don't know, but it, it looked interesting enough. I think it's going to be some kind of kidnapping story based on what we saw. Wait. God knows. <laughs> um, uh, very interesting is uh, The School for Good and Evil, which can have so many stars. And I'm I've... really interested in that one because Kit uh, yeah, Young, yeah. who plays our lovely Jesper in, in, in Shadow and Boehm, is in that. He was filming that a lot of last year, and I'm very... Yep. interested to see what he is who he is in it and, and obviously we've got Shelley Throne yep. and Carrie Washington yes Ben Kingsley thank you I was like trying Mich to there's Michelle like a <laughs> yeah a lot of really cool people in it a lot, lot of very and very cool costumes I'm I'm already loving them I'm not gonna I was like oh Yes, I love this. Shall I throw in with that massive, that massive wig. red hair? Massive wig is ah! quite incredible. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm very interested in that. Uh, we obviously getting a Nola Holmes too, uh, with Harry Cavill and uh, Millie Bobby Brown. Both I'm really turning. excited for that one. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I really liked the first one. It was so much fun. <laughs> I liked the first one, but as I said, I had some problems with it. So I'm, I'm hoping that I, d I don't like again. It's one of those things I don't think it's like a, like a like a perfect movie or yeah. anything. But I thought it was a lot of fun and it like way fun. better than I think I was expecting it yeah, to be. Yeah, 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 definitely. And I like Henry Cavill's Sherlock Holmes. There, I said it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. <clears throat> it, it, it was enough to say one time. <laughs> the the anger you had at me the other day when you were like, "Why does he keep being nice?" I'm like, "Because he's a good guy." <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it. Uh, I might have to like him after all. Um, and the um, end of the road with uh, Queen Latifah, who's actually going to have two new movies coming out on Netflix, and the other one is, I think it's an Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's I, called I'm, Hustle. I'm yes, Hustle. Yes. That one looked interesting because it yes. felt more like the Adam Sandler we got from, from Anka Gems. And yes, uh, yeah. And I still haven't watched that movie, and I really, oh, really do mean to. I've heard really good things. Please watch I had it. every intention. So I'm just so bad at watching things that it's are like so one-offs. It's I don't. It's it does. It doesn't make sense. Don't ask me to make sense of it. But I have real trouble getting myself around to watching things that are literally just a one and done. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know either. I me. Mean. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, but yeah, he was so good. And and Mayor with story. Um, um, that's another movie that I really like from him. And and it's it's a serious role from him. But it's not gonna come to me. Oh well. I, I, put I, it I in the Adam Sandler's um, uh, what was it called? Um, acceptance speech at the Indie Spirit Awards. Um, the year that he won for Uncle Gems was so funny, <laughs> like genuinely so funny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I love Adam Sandler. I don't care. It's so. nice because he made he made a lot of really bad films. Let's be real. He made a lot of really really bad films. <laughs> but it's nice to see because he's like I know he made good films as well, but he yeah. made a lot of really bad ones. Yeah. But you know, I'm I'm always like with Adam Sandler. I'm always like, you know, his movies are mostly dumb and stupid. And it's just dumb fun. And sometimes that's all you need. And and what I always liked about Adam Sandler characters, especially, not specifically movies, that they are always so pure. And, you know, I, I can just imagine him being this pure guy in real life as well. You know, 
you know, I just love him. I think he's great. Um, and I honestly don't mind his dumb movies. <laughs> I just, which is why I was surprised that they didn't show anything from Murder Mystery 2 with Jennifer Aniston. But then I realized that they didn't show anything because they only just started filming it. And Jennifer uh, Aniston just, just posted a picture of them being together again. So I'm like, oh, okay, fair enough. I honestly but, didn't realize that that was getting a sequel. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> and I honestly, I can't wait. I enjoyed the first one. So I'm like, I don't, I, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, that's that's the Adam Sandler movie. And then uh, we have uh, we have a ghost with Anthony Mackie or Sam Wilson, um, uh, which is looking like more like a children. Uh, kind of story. I didn't check it out on IMDb. Maybe. What's the story? Uh, we have oh, a I ghost. Uh, I don't think ghost. it's gonna be a horror movie. That to be fair, uh, it's fine. I don't, it was, this doesn't bug me. Yeah. Don't know why I said it like that? Hang on. Check We're it. getting there. Uh, oh, we have a ghost. Uh, oh no, it's just because in this one. Ignore, ignore that. I will. <laughs> Um, a man claims to have befriended a mostly harmless ghost who bears likeness to actor Ernest Borg- Borgnine and, the f- uh, and becomes famous on the internet. So that's, 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 that sounds yeah. very silly. It's, it's probably and it's got be. Jennifer Coolidge in it. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, that woman. I <laughs> you love I... Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. Okay. I like that already. Uh, we have Me Time with Mark Wahlberg and Kevin Hart. Uh, <sighs> it looks like it's going to be like... Um, that, part, yeah, I'm not watching that movie. I'm, I'm just like... Movie? I've never seen anything that's less up my alley in my life. I don't know. I, I will I will probably give it a go. We've, yeah. we've gone through that. that kind of American comedy thing. I know. Yeah, bro, yeah. I just can't stand it. I, <laughs> I get no enjoyment out of it. I know. It's all good. Uh, we're going to have The Good Nurse uh, with Jessica Chastain and uh, Eddie Redmayne. Uh, that looks interesting. I did I'm did. i seeing Eddie Redmayne live in 10 days. <laughs> and Jesse Buckley. <laughs> Stop it. I'm, I'm so happy. Cabaret. I'm seeing Cabaret. Stop it. <laughs> I'm so happy. I want to go to I the theater as well. I, I booked these tickets. <laughs> last like i can't even remember now like six months ago or something stupid like that or maybe even more and considering my my original plan to go see moulin rouge first got cancelled twice uh i'm i've been waiting for this very excited (laughs) completely fair um uh, luckiest girl alive is gonna have uh it it was like a tiny snippet of uh mila kunis uh showing up so God knows what okay. that is. I didn't check it out. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Will it be any better than uh, famed teen uh, rom-com Just My Luck starring <laughs> Lindsay Lohan and, and Chris, Chris Pine? Pine? Chris Pine, yeah, I yeah. love that movie. I, I, I like that movie a lot as well. <laughs> it's, it's so fun. It's so it wasn't fun. Lindsay Lohan. Was it? it? It is Lindsay Lohan. It was Lindsay yeah. Lohan. I just suddenly was like, couldn't see it properly in my head. No, no, no. It, it um, was. It was. Yeah. <laughs> That's I fair. love. I'm re- I really love that movie. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> also, a flyer in it. We're gonna be better. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, there's another one I'm really interested about. You people with Jonah Hill and Eddie Murphy and David Duchovny, and I'm like. Yes, it was David Duchovny. It was I thought, David I Duchovny. I saw David yeah. Duchovny, and I was like, him. that looks like David Duchovny, but like he's really bearded and kind of like. Yeah. Um, that's I him. was gonna say old looking, but that's it down of mean, but like that's it doesn't him. matter. He's he's an old man gentleman. He can yeah. look old, it's fine. Yeah. It's good. Uh I'm very interested to see it. Like, you know, uh I think Jonah Hill. Yeah. Jonah Hill was great in Don't Look Up and and I just love Eddie Murphy as well, so I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Legend. Uh, hmm? Yeah. Uh and then I will mention uh, uh, uh the the mothership, which is a Holly Berry movie. Um yes. and then finally Knives Out 2. Uh, I should have mentioned this in my most anticipated because this actually is, I think, probably one of my most anticipated of this year. I forgot it was coming out this year. I yeah. think that's part of the reason it, I, I didn't mention it, but like, I'm real fucking excited for this. Yeah. I really, I mean, Knives Out was already great, but like, just the idea we're getting more, I like the fact that we've kind of got ourselves a new detective. Um, yeah, like yeah. proper Agatha Christie style detective. Yeah. And and it's it is just Daniel Craig having the time of his life. Oh, definitely. Like, you know, I I I I love I love the first one. So I'm like, mm-hmm. let's do it again. And it's on a boat. Apparently, it's on a boat. It's on a boat. It's on a boat. So you know, it's like they saw that Death of the Nile had to come out this year, and they went, 
It's all right. We'll do this better. Yeah. <laughs> I think poor The Death of the Nile has that one curse on it that's sitting on yeah. it. That it has... Because I, I watched the trailer and I was like, that looks like a lot of fun. It's just a shame that he's in it. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. Poor, it's, it's, you know, it's... Uh, it's hard. I think it's getting harder to find the right people, especially when so many things are coming out and are like, and you, you just, you know, I, I can truly believe that uh, there are some people who are hiding it so well that you just can't, you just can't oh, even sure. guess it. You just don't know. And, you know, they, they are getting cast in movies and whatnot, and, and then they are standing there. And because of that, yeah, it's like... It, the, the infuriating thing is... <laughs> the uh, the other side to that in that in in the people that people are like no this guy's not good news and yeah. they go, we're just gonna cast him anyway it's like fuck off yeah oh that's you Do know that's better. even that's even worse <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the that's the terrible end of the thing <laughs> like you know so, yeah. Uh, yeah it's your yeah, fault then. i'm very much looking forward to knives out too yeah oh definitely i think just the that only... tiny it was one shot right at the end of the trailer yeah like, i mean they only just started to make the movie so like it started right. like a few weeks ago so yeah I, I thought they were i thought they did that at the end of last year no i think they just started now in january hang on i'm curious chicken uh I'm the only thing i i i missed other than murder mystery 2 is that the old card 2 is probably not coming out this year which is really sad. no i don't think it was yeah. going to i think they haven't even um gotten mm. close to like filming it yet from what i can tell um, sad. I really liked the first one, so I was kind of hoping to see something. God, I forgot how freaking good, good this cast is. Uh, in in Knives Out, filming took place between on the on the island of um. They are in something. Greece, I think. In Greece, yeah. I couldn't. It's just a Greek work. I don't know how to speak any Greek. <laughs> between um uh end of June to the end of July. So, yeah, oh, they're really? Done. They're finished. Yeah. Um, oh, officially wrapped on the thirteenth of September. Oh, it's. I don't know. It just in my it was in my head that uh, there was a photo tweeted that they arrived in Greece, and it seemed like it happened a two a few weeks ago, <laughs> but I guess it didn't. MJ. Oh well, then um, yeah. Yeah, they did a bunch of Greece uh, Greece filming. Uh, I think they did a little bit of stuff in New York, and then they officially wrapped on the thirteenth. It seems. There you go. My God, this this fucking cast. I mean, Janelle Monet. Yeah, I love Janelle. Oh. Yeah. On. Edward Norton's in it. Yep. Come on. That's the Odom Jr. Good fucking girls. That is good. Uh, yeah. Uh, but that's it. That's all we got for Netflix. I Ethan. will highlight uh, the Adam Project as I did previously. I can't wait to watch that movie. Uh, they Clone Ty uh, Tyrone is another one yes. I am very interested about. Uh, Grey Man. Grey Man. Like Chris mm. Evans. They already bought me. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know it was coming for Netflix. I'm, I'm gonna say that. I thought that it's honestly, come I out forgot that. Uh, I also forgot that Knives Out was with that that Netflix. The, bought the Netflix, yeah, yeah. With the, with Knives Out movies, yeah. I was surprised to see them. I was like, oh, oh yes, <laughs> yeah, that that happened. <laughs> uh, Day Shift looks fun as well. I think it's gonna be like Jamie Fox hunting demons. Demons. So I'm like, yeah, I can deal with that. Why not? Why not? Uh, but yeah, all together, I think I am just interested in all of them at the moment. I'm like, oh, oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> but uh, oh, who, know, who knows? Like who knows how many I will end up watching? To be honest, I got I did more than me. Let's be real. More here. than me. More than you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like I can't sit down to watch a two-hour movie, but I am no lifing psych at the moment. <laughs> You're gonna be I mean, I was TV shows I was, and whatnot. I I was early in season two, two days ago. Yeah. I'm now mid season four. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah, I think. Do, 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 do you have highlights on it? I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, Knives Out too, obviously, as I've mentioned a couple of times now. I'm yeah. very much looking forward to more Enola Holmes. I think that's just gonna be a lot of fun. I always look forward to Sherlock Holmes stuff, and I think that they're doing it in a really fun and interesting way. Mm. Um, especially if we get to see more of Recapolis, I just think he's great. I think because he, he wasn't obviously he's not in it as much because it's not Sherlock Holmes movie. It's another yeah. Holmes. Yeah. But he he and and Millie Robbie Round do have quite a, a great little sort of 
there's there's a nice chemistry yeah. there familial chemistry which i like a lot there's a sort of like mentor-esque um yeah. quality to him in it which i i, I enjoy greatly this movie this this movie this episode is over an hour long yeah i know oh well we tried <laughs> we tried there was much to talk about look uh i am almost a uh, 100% sure it's gonna happen next week as well uh because we're gonna be reviewing the book of boba fett with yes. our guest elliot from hakuna machata um so we do love elliot we love elliot uh, i haven't seen any of boba fett yet i've seen a lot of things about boba fett and things things from boba fett so it should be interesting to see them all in context probably um but yeah I, I made a joke when we were asking Elliot on that Lily mercilessly bullied me. <laughs> that's that's not true. That's not true. I very kindly asked you to watch it, please. <laughs> what you said was, we have to do this. And I went, hey, jeez. <laughs> and I went, I'll watch it after the last episode comes out. And then, and then you got more intense. And I went, calm down. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't bullying. I would never do that. Just saying. For the record, I, I was I was obviously kidding, but you know, <laughs> me too. But you know, still, <laughs> no, um, we're gonna we're gonna do that for Lily, and then in a couple of weeks we get to watch. You know, she's gonna watch all of the Legend of Vox Machina. We'll be able to talk about that properly, and yeah. I get to do that thing of like, what well, in the original series? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. You're really obnoxious. <laughs> I can't wait because now you have to sit through all, uh, us talking about Star Wars and what happened previously. It's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, just have to deal with it. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Or if you're listening to us, then follow us. And uh, tell you know, your friends about us. Tell your it's friends nice. about us. We are nice and funny. We're here every week. Every Thursday. You can see us or hear us. Whatever you choose. Um, In your car. Whatever. On a boat. On a boat. If you have a boat. <laughs> if you have a boat, then you should definitely should listen to us. Uh, but yeah, we love you all. And take care. Bye. Godspeed, everybody.